Hey, how's it going on everyone? Welcome back to another brand new episode. In today's special video, we're going to be looking at how to create out something like this in After Effects. First off, we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to start out a new project. We're going to start out with a new composition. And the first place, we're going to be creating out a new solid. First off, this is going to be our background. You can choose out any color. I'm going to be going out with this color. And now we're going to go over to Effects and Presets. Over here, I'm going to be searching out for blinds. And in the blind section, I'm going to be getting out these Venetian blinds that we see right here. Drag and drop this over to a solid. Right here, what I want you guys to do is to choose out the transition completion to 6%. Uh, take, untick this off. And for the angle, we're going to be choosing out negative 45 degrees. For the width, I'm going to go with 5. Now we're going to be creating out a new text. And we're going to type out the text that we want. The link for this text can be found in the description below. Okay, now we have to choose out the rectangle tool. And make sure that the fill is selected. It doesn't matter what color this is. Just fill it out. Okay, so we are right here and we have to choose alpha mat. We're going to be seeing something like this. And what this does is if we're going to move out of here, then the text will not appear. So you can learn more about alpha mat. It is a very important property of After Effects. Now we're going to go over here to press S. This is going to pop up the scale and we're going to untick this off and we're going to set the scale to 50. Now we have to move. We're going to click here. And while clicking, we have to hold shift and drag it over to the left. We're going to be dragging it somewhere around here. Now what I want you guys to do is to select both of these layers and press Ctrl D. This will create up a duplicate of the both of the same layers. Now we have to select the shape layer too and do the exact same thing but move it to the right this time. And we have to make sure that we uh, completely fill out the text. Uh, it does not matter. It, it just needs to be filled out. Now we're going to select out both of the text layers, we're going to press out the position and over somewhere in our timeline, uh, somewhere around like let's say here, I'm going to set out the keyframes for both of the position. Now we're going to move to like uh, one, one second somewhere around here and we're going to be uh, animating out both of the text layers. Now for this text layer, I'm going to make it move to the right and the same thing. Now when we look at the animation. It is going to show us something like this, which looks kind of neat right now, but really, really slow. What we can do to enhance is that select up all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Now we have to go to the graph editor. In the graph editor, we're going to select out this and move the end towards the upper and do this for both of them. And now we're going to see out the animation, how this works out. Now moving over to the last step, we're going to choose out the rectangle tool. We're going to set out the fill to be none. And we're going to be creating out something like this box. Now we can adjust out this box to be like perfect fit size. Whatever size you want, I don't care. And over here, we're going to go to add trim pots. Now we have to animate out the trim pots. We're going to click here and in the start section, I'm going to go right to the spot where the text start appearing up. So this looks like the place. Here I'm going to set out the keyframe out to. So here the box will be completed. We're going to go out a little bit further. I'm going to set out the start to 100%. After doing our RAM preview, we're going to get something like this. 